Hello everyone, this is the video number 8, optimizing the codes, alright. So in this tutorial, we will optimize the codes that we had written on the 7th tutorial, so which is uh, <coughs> automating the Gmail application. So here you can see the source code and what is the disadvantage of this code is, we have written everything in this main. And we just dumped all this code inside a main function. So, if I let's call this <coughs> logging into Gmail as one scenario. So, if I want to automate any other scenario, we need to create another class and we need to write dump everything inside a main function. And if I want to run all both these scenarios, then we need to run it separately. In the same time, if I add 10 scenarios, we need to manually run these 10 scenarios and check whether these 10 scenarios are passed or failed and <clears throat> this is the one disadvantage and yeah and these codes we can't able to reproduce it and we can't able to reuse it as well so we will write a code in such a way that it should be reusable one <clears throat> we can reuse the so codes again and again instead of writing it again and again all right and easy to maintain the codes we will write in such a way that it should be easily maintainable. If I just go through it, I should understand easily what is going to do this. Here, if I go through it, it's tough to understand what it exactly does unless we have these commands and all. Alright? And we'll make sure that <coughs> we will follow some object oriented programming structure because <coughs> that is the concept comes into oops in this. And so we will follow some of the we will, some of the steps so that it makes the code reusable and it makes code which understandable readable format all right so <clears throat> what we will do is first we will we will create some folders okay we will divide into ourselves that we push these sorry yeah these css selectors into one class okay and we will use into another class we will push all this CSS selector into one class and we will call it as a CSS selector. Yeah, CSS selector. And uh, yeah, these are the repetitive. You can see this. <coughs> Here, this driver.manage timeouts implicitly with these functions are used nearly 10 times. Instead of doing this again and again, we can dump this line into another function and call it. 10 times right instead of doing implicitly calling this method 10 times we can call the our own methods and we will dump all these functions into action file and each test whatever for example each scenarios we will write into test file and these tests we will call from main so that if i want to add a 10 test we will add those 10 tests into this main function so that if i just run this main this 10 test will be running all right so once i will show you how to do this i will i will i will copy all these codes into this framework so that you will be comfortable and after this video we will follow this structure so that we can reusable the code and most of the industries are following this sort of frameworks all right yeah we will create first we will create a main folder where we will dump all the main classes i will name it as main okay oh, sorry you should create a folder right click and yeah remember we should do whatever in the whatever the java program should be in the test folder in java folder all right right click new remember here package is option it's just like a folder i will name it as a main okay and yeah in this main, I will create another class called main test. Okay. Oh, sorry. I should create a Java class this time. In this main folder, I will create a Java class and main test. Alright. So, I created a main test. We will make public static void main. Okay, we are going to write the test in this. Even if I have a 10 test, 
I will, I'm going to write all the 10 tests in this main function and I'm going to run the one main function so the 10 test will be running all right and I will create another folder called tests okay yeah in this test as uh, yeah <coughs> for example yeah in this test <coughs> I'm going to add one one I'm going to add this Gmail automation codes for example wait. yeah now <coughs> I'm going to add one class uh, we'll name it as test scenarios yeah guys now you could it could be a bit confusing you for you guys but at the end of this tutorial I'm sure you can understand this framework and you can follow it easily and it's <coughs> bit easy to comparatively in the main function where before we supposed to follow right where we are going to dump all the codes into main <coughs> so what is the use of this test <coughs> main function is used because I can run 10 scenarios in one main function so that even all the tests can be run in one thread on one attempt so in <coughs> in this test I'm going to this is called test scenarios in this test scenarios I'm going to uh, write all the tests in this in, in this class so that I don't need to create a main again and again okay and I will move forward you will be understanding better and I will create an actions file here sorry remember first I will add one folder it's called actions and inside action I will create another java file which is called action dot java okay and inside action you can see this framework action inside that i will call this css selector inside action first i will create a folder you will understand it better when i <coughs> copy all this main function into this framework okay and um, where am i yeah selectors i will call it selectors Sorry, I will call it CSS selectors. All right, this folder name is CSS selectors. Inside that, I will create a Java class selectors. Okay, yeah. Now you can see here the one main where this is a main function where we are going to write all the scenarios. And in this test, there is a test scenario where we are going to write a proper code for each and every test in this class and okay what is the use of actions actions we are <coughs> basically we we will divide the entire program into each unit so that which could be reusable everywhere in for example you can see here and it's a navigation navigation <coughs> it's basic step for each and every and you can see this this driver setup and driver initialization and driver navigation it's a basic setup and for each and every scenario for each and every test we are going to initialize the driver and run it so we instead of writing it twice or n number of tests it's better to <coughs> dump this code into one function and call it right so it is it increased the readability and it reduced the length of the codes and makes it more efficient and flexible all right so i just and css selector as i told yeah yes selector all i will dump all the selectors in this so that <coughs> it could be used anywhere instead of before that okay so yeah, i will start it so you can miss i will just arrange this main test on the right side will be this side so that it won't be confusing for me and you as well okay yeah, I will arrange in such a that one first is main function on the right side there is a test scenario so we are going to write a pro proper code for the test scenarios and we are going to write a code proper <coughs> unit dividing a code into units in the action and select as files I will move forward for first I will create a object of this test scenario class okay test scenarios I just copy this 
paste test is equal to new test scenarios once highlight alt enter import class all right and in this i will write a method which is public void um, gmail automate okay and i'm going to call this method with respect to test object okay so now main function i'm just creating an object of test scenario and i'm calling this method so if i want to add another one suppose my next video is hovering the object hovering performing hover on some element so i will create an i will create a function in below this function for example a hover and i will call with the test class test object itself so that we don't need to create another main another class with the main and run it again all right <clears throat> so in this class it's sorry in this function we are going to dump all these codes with a proper format okay so first what we were doing here we will go one by one so we are first <clears throat> setting the driver and nav time navigating a driver to some url so i will cre create a method sorry in this step scenario gmail account um before that okay we know to perform this we should extend this actions classes extend so we will i will explain you later we will go to action file in this i will create a method public void navigate url okay better better we will get string url okay and obviously and you can see here as soon as we are initializing the driver we should make the driver to navigate to some url so we will keep even with the comment i am going to copy this and paste into the action file in this function <clears throat> you can see this url i'll copy and okay paste this navigate url i'm going to call from test scenarios how to call test scenarios with some double quotes okay thing is we can't call this action file from test scenario until and unless we need to create an object of action file and call other than that we can extend actions all right what's wrong import class yeah now you can see this test scenarios so yes sorry navigate url i just rounded it now you can see this navigate url i will give this gmail.com url into this navigate class this set test scenario class so now you can see that there is a flow from the main i am going to call this gmail automate and you can see this you can press command b in mac and i think control b in case of windows it moves it takes your next where this function is defined or you can here itself you can see the yeah is there any option i don't know let's move command b or any some i don't know about windows i think it's command b or control b i think so it goes to this function in this i'm going to call in this test scene i'm going to call this navigate url navigate url it goes to this navigate url this <coughs> in this action file we are performing the actions this drive set the driver and navigate to the url okay so this this part is until then we done and now we are <coughs> this dri driver to wait for 3 second i do it bit fast so that anyway it's already explained the last tutorial and public 
void wait wait driver wait wait till wait driver for given second it, it takes a second what i want to do is i'm going to copy and paste this driver into this action file so that okay see i can't able to i able to access this driver and it's better i will create i will create a driver object web driver equal to driver and here i will remove this driver so that you can see this only one driver is used throughout the this action file other otherwise we need to create a different different driver for each and every function then it <coughs> then driver won't go to this url or it won't wait for till the second video better we use the same driver throughout this class so now driver waits for the second that we are going to specify in this function so i'm going to call in the test scenario as soon as the page is navigated i'm going to call driver wait driver for given second what's the time i gave here is 3 second so i give 3 second so wait for so as soon as i navigate i just wait for 3 second okay this is the main part yeah at this point i am going to stop this tutorial and in the next tutorial we will continue all these things thank you so much have a nice day bye bye